Every time I go on Steam to look at custom zombie maps, this mod always shows up first, which is called the Zombie Mod Plus. So today I'm going to try and see why this mod is so popular. Okay, so I just put the mod on and already my level is 1000. I have 9999 liquid divinium and I can put on whatever gobble gum I want. This is so strange. So I'm going to try this out in the giant and as you can see already we have the rampage inducer. If I activate this, the zombies should be faster from like what they were in Cold War. Okay, so I still have to do the same steps to turn on the pack a punch because usually they would give you a pack a punch I think in maps that don't have it. I wonder if I can like deactivate this. I should probably leave it on though but if I go over here okay I, I can still deactivate it. Oh what's that green thing over there? Oh, okay, so this is the ammo crate. So if I run out of ammo, I could just buy this. Yeah, so this is basically meant to just be a mod. Basically just bringing over the Cold War features into this game. I've also put on the Pegaholic Gobble Gum. I don't think I should do it though, because it did say custom perks in this as well. I don't know. Like, I, I doubt that would give me a Wonder Fizz. You know what? Let's get all the perks first. And then if I've reached the max, I probably will get the Pegaholic just to see what other ones it includes. Because if I use the Gobble Gum now, it's probably going to give it to me straight away, isn't it? Oh no. Okay, so the fountain. That's fine, I'll take that. So probably just buy the VMP straight away. Yeah, so we gotta basically just do the giant steps, which is pretty simple anyway. I'm gonna get through this a lot quicker though, just because of how fast the zombies are sprinting. So according to Steam, this is the most popular mod downloaded. I think it's just because, yeah, people wanna kinda use the same features that Cold War has into Black Ops 3. And I feel like nowadays just people don't want to spend time just waiting to get things so once you have this rampage zombie chasing you it's just super quick i'm flying through these rounds already i'm what a couple minutes in and we already got dog round yeah there we go maximo i think at this point maximo is just useless just because we've got all these ammo crates over here there's a lot of them as well also this map has perma perks which is basically i think from black ops 2 where if you can play a challenge it will give you a certain perk so that must include in maps that are from like word at war you know the chronicles that they released there's also like files i don't know where it is on this map though so we're gonna try and look around see if we can find it okay open this door same thing over here activate this teleporter as well i'm probably gonna get trapped here or oh, death machine i could really grab that but you know there's a lot of zombies and i still have a timer to you know complete i've got 15 seconds less than okay now 10 seconds yeah i'm probably gonna make it but yeah i think this is a lot faster as well because i've already got like a lot of points so i can just quickly open these doors already on round seven i could probably also if i get monkeys i can do that easter egg as well. Wait, I wonder what happens if I try and get the Annihilator. So we'll do two Easter eggs. We'll see if we can activate Annihilator and then we'll see if we can do the robot one as well. Like I said, I still don't know where... Wait, that's Milk Kick. Wait, oh no, this gave me a free perk. Maybe that's from soda popping. I don't know. I don't remember that gobble gum, so that might have been from that. So where's the mystery box though? Oh, it's over on that side. Quickly go and get some few weapons. What's this? Oh, ray gun already. <laughs> Thank you. Not good for the Easter egg step though. So we probably will have to pack punch unless I get a better weapon. Oh, it also shows my health as well. So when I took damage, the bar kind of went down. Um, so what's this weapon going to be this time? I guess, yeah, no, I'm going to stick with the VMP. Oh, here we go. So that's X-File here. So I just, if I activate this, yeah, and then I can just leave. I still got to look around. Still want to do some things before I X-File. Just try not to get trapped here. It's probably a bad idea to stay up here. But we'll get 5,000 points. Yep. I knew it was a bad idea to stay up there. Yeah, so the way I basically can just describe this is think of Cold War, now it's in Black Ops 3. That's what this mod allows you to do. Also some other features. Oh, I'm definitely gonna get trapped. That was a mistake. I was not paying attention. <laughs> but what weapon did I lose? Oh. Okay, so I gotta buy the KN again. Just get a quick revive. Okay, so that's just giving me. Oh, yeah, so the Gobble Gum is just basically giving me more perks. So if we get a speed call, that's gonna give me meal kick. And then there we go, Kane's back. Yeah, so it's better for me to just stay up here and just spray my ray gun. Even though I might take damage soon, I can, it's, it's fine. Cause I can just buy ammo and just quickly go down. Okay, so in order for me to do the next few steps, I'm probably gonna turn the rampage inducer off just because I want the zombies to be a little bit slower. So now they should be a bit more calm, even though, it, oh, well, it is round 15. So they're not gonna be as calm as usual. <laughs> I think I got one zombie left. So let me go and pack this weapon. So I pack this and then uh, there we go. Thank you. So then we can do the bunny steps this looks like a different camo i just realized yeah this does not look like a normal pack-a-punch camo because if i reload 
Yeah, I don't know. So that's the feature the mod has. I'm trying to think where they are. Be okay, I think I know where the teddy bears are because I'm kind of used to Doris declassified because they would be like in this section here. Where was the other spot? <laughs> oh no, it's in the furnace over on this side. Yeah, I played too much custom games. So now we're just going to go back upstairs. I don't know if I have enough for this. Oh, open this door. What perk is over on this side as well? Oh, double tap. Okay. I don't have enough though, but if I buy a double tap, I probably could get another perk. So the last step is one of these in here. I forgot which side it was. Oh, I see it. There we go. So now if I go over here, the annihilator should pop up. I get this. Okay, so it doesn't give me any perks for doing that. I thought it would, but obviously it doesn't. Not having the rampage and do so makes the zombies feel so slow though. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm now just kind of just used to that mod that now that not having it, I'm just like, oh, this feels weird. I'm also just going to pack the ray gun as well because when we do X-File, I'm going to need a good weapon to use. You know what? I kind of like the purple camo, not going to lie. Wait, so if I get double tap, can I actually grab another one? Okay, we can. And it also gives me dead shot. Yeah, so what I need to do now is basically just Constantly hit the mystery box and trying to get the monkeys. Of course, I just trapped myself there again. <laughs> Why do I always get myself in tight spaces? We get quick arrive, move over here, we get speed collar. You know what? Okay, you know what? Let's not worry about the monkey step. I'm just gonna go and get a pegaholic. I don't even have rampage to do so on. Why am I getting trapped? Unless I, wait, do I have it on? I can't remember now. I think I have it off. Yeah, I have it off and I'm dying. Okay, well, let me just get the pegaholic then. <laughs> Let's just see what perks we can get. There we go, that was actually really lucky that it was Pegaholic, but I have to also run. Oh, okay, so it's just these packs. Once I got double tap, I couldn't get anything else. I thought that would include more. I guess not. So now that we've done everything, because there's no need to do... Like, I could get stamina, because that's the extra perk, right? But I don't really need it. I just thought it would give it to me, because I grabbed the Pegaholic. So now I just have to wait for the x file to start. I don't know what round it needs to start on. So, because we're now on round 20. Yeah, so I can't activate it because if I go to the box now it doesn't work same thing like it would oh no now it does <laughs> but it would be the same thing it does in Cold War okay so objectives begun wait do I just have to run over there do I not get, need to get kills wait so wait what do I, what do I need to do like this shoot it okay I'll activate the trap but oh yeah okay so I'm collecting souls so that's different yeah maybe I should have put on rampage zombies would be a lot faster well it's nearly halfway done and we got what one minute and a bit left slowly trying to run around try not to get trapped like last time oh okay that was close oh we're actually nearly close it's nearly finished so now is good oh okay yep I nearly got trapped <laughs> let me just try and focus for a second I think that was a dog that was hitting me actually and there we go. I nearly died there, by the way. <laughs> so if I grab the summoning key, there we go. The cycle was broken. We have survived. So yeah, pretty good mod. Just Cold War in Black Ops 3. I can see why it's popular now. And also it has features, like I said, they've included Pack-a-Punch in the old Chronicle maps. And I think you can even do like Shinonuma Easter egg from Vanguard onto this game as well. Also, it works in custom maps, by the way.